Well, it's not really been breaking news as we've just found out the Prime Minister has been the Prime Minister for a few days. That's a long time in UK Parliament length. But uh, yeah, we're in GTA. We're going to be leaving the police base right now because we're going to be escorting the brand new Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. I'm um, playing as the Met Police's special escort group and they're sometimes called for this type of thing. They've been uh, basically they work with the royalty protection as well, so they also call the royal family. We're currently en route, we're an armed response vehicle. Got quite a few updates in my game. And that's why you didn't hear me for a while. I haven't been uploading because I've actually been working on my game. There's a few things that you might notice, there's a few things you probably won't notice because a lot of it is work in progress. But I hope you guys buckle in and enjoy this video because today we are rolling. And we're currently en route to the facility where the Prime Minister is at. He's been visiting this dodgy facility. It's a, it's a biotech facility. I'm not allowed to say any more. <laughs> anyway, we're going to be on the Route 15. We're keeping an eye out for any protesters or any people that do not like mm, Mr. Fishy. And that's that, really. I've got my motorbike escort behind me as well. They're trying to catch up, but they're quite stupid, so they're going to take a while. They are NPCs, by the way, so that's why they're a bit dumb. Give me a sec. All right, so the convoy is in progress, and we're almost there. Take a right turn in here. See the facility at the top left. Oh my gosh, what just happened? Did you hear that? What is going on with these guys? I don't, you never mind. All right, so let's go to the facility. Let's go see Mr. Sinak. So you arrived at the facility, just going to be scanning our security car, getting our security clearance, checking everything. Before I show you that, I've got an announcement from today's sponsor, Grand RP. They're an amazing multiplayer Rage MP server. You should definitely check them out. Grand RP is the best 5M server that's not on 5M. Using a unique client for mass multiplayer gameplay, Grand RP utilizes Rage MP framework to support more than a thousand players online. The server is feature packed with over 350 real world cars and a very comfortable gaming experience with over 25 active admins online. There are a lot of organizations to join, 5 criminal gangs, the LSPD, FIB, government services, road policing, EMS and the fire department. Very often the server has new updates as well as implementing user feedback to improve the experience. To register you can use their website and download the launcher. Alternatively, if you're like me and a bit skeptical of launchers, there is the option to join straight from the Rage MP client, but the launcher is the easiest route to the world of Grand Roleplay. If you use my referral link, you'll be gifted a starting amount of money in which you can use to kit out your character and your experience your own way. This is a unique server experience with absolutely no AI involved whatsoever, and you will always be interacting with real world players. See you there. But yeah, their new server is launching real soon. But we're back at the facility right now. We've got the Prime Minister here with his Jaguar. Just going to get in place, get everything ready. We've got a convoy. It's got two rear cars. We've got a lead car, myself, two bikes. They're going to be outriders. Oh, there we go. We need to wave and say hi to the Prime Minister. Hello. How are we doing on this fine October morning? I think one of the motorcyclists got knocked off. I don't know why, but they're dumb, so yeah. All right, let's go, let's go. We're in action. Here at one, we're going to be going ahead. We're about to leave the facility. So typically what happens in the real convoy is you will get a lead motorbike that's going to be in front. Motorbikes are a lot more maneuverable than the cars. But the reason that I've taken the uh, Range Rover out is because it's a lot flashier to your viewers. It's a nice vehicle to look at. Don't get me wrong. And also because the motorbikes can't be trusted. If they're driving in front of me, if I'm a motorbike and I've got a Land Rover behind me, you know, he's going to ram into me or something and I'm going to go off my bike and I know how that video is going to turn out. So today we try to play it safe. I've tried to get things accurate. So, you know, the Met and the government forces will use a mix of Land Rovers, Range Rovers, maybe not Land Rover, I think they're the same thing. And also Jaguars. We're on the motorway right now, so my motorcyclists are whistling at the cars nearby, telling them to stop and they're not that type of whistling. Met Control to Guardian Control Center, Sierra 1, Sierra 2, and the whole convoy are going to be in transit. We're just approaching Route 15 right now. We're keeping you updated. At the moment, we're keeping the uh, rightmost lane clear. An interesting fact about the escort group. So, from Wikipedia, from serving officers as well, majority of the SCG units are firearms trained, especially the motorcyclists. They didn't use sirens, they use whistles. Now our car uses a siren, but the bikes use whistles because they're a lot higher pitched. Crazy, right? 
but also because they're not that loud. So when you're close, they really grab your attention. But when you're far away, you won't hear them too much. And everyone knows that there's a big police escort going on when you hear a lot of whistles in town. So when you hear the whistles going on in the background, then you know there's an escort and it does, it's, not as, it's not as environmentally noisy as a siren would be. Now, I'm putting my siren on just to let the other officers know to catch up. But yeah, sometimes they'll keep it off. I'm going to keep it off for the most time. I'll only use it when I need to because we're not driving real fast. We're trying to lead a convoy through traffic without getting attacked. But at the same time, you know, we don't want to stay glued in the traffic either. But I'm just heading to town now. We're just about there. Got to clear this intersection off first. We're going to clear the uh, slip road off. As you can see, the convoy is falling nicely into formation, but we've got a problem here. Apparently there's reports of someone that's been, a, well, it's a sec. We've got an emergency situation right now, guys. So there's been reports of someone, an armed gunman in a vehicle driving around shooting at police officers, and they're trying to attack our convoy right now. So we don't know the political motivation behind it. We know for a fact that the prime minister and the officers are in danger. I'm gonna get through this intersection as quick as possible. And then, oh my gosh, what the hell? Get out of the way, I'm gonna sh oh, I'm not gonna sh well, am I gonna shoot him? I don't know. This idiot, he's panics, I think. I don't think he was deliberately driving into us, but oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna need to alert the other units. Apparently they're pressing their panic button right now. Yep, received, okay. God, we need to move quite quickly now. We need to make a lot of progress with this traffic. And wait for the convoy to catch up. Oh my gosh, I think the Prime Minister's car is in trouble. We're gonna go back. We're going to see what they're doing. Yeah, they got caught up in traffic. This is a nightmare scenario. We need to get there ASAP. Okay, right. I don't know where the other units are gone. They're going to fend off the attacker and clear off the other roads. You can't see them, but they're clearing off the other intersections to make this road clear. I'm going to Prime Minister's car to follow me right now. We're going straight to the Arcadius Business Center, because that is where the nearest safe location is. I'm going to take him to... Uh, we're basically going to take him to shelter. So the rest of the convoy with me right now. We're calling other units to... Oh, steady on. All right, here we are. I'm going to block off this road as well. So we're going to block off this road slightly. Guardian Control, Sierra 1 and the convoy. We're going to be locking off this uh, road at Alter Street, at Pillbox Hill. Probably got a threat to uh, national security. We're going to be getting all traffic out of this area. We're going to be calling other units as well. All right. What I'm going to do now is put a few cones here as well. So the other units, the other police units will know that this road is meant to be closed, or closed off so the constables can uh, help us out. So I'm going to get cordon here. Let's put these poles here because they're more visible on the side of the road than the other side. Okay. Right. Just finishing placing the stuff around. This is the police tape mod by PNW Parks fan. I love that mod. We're here. So inside this facility is a secure location where we'll be keeping the Prime Minister. It's not too far away from Downing Street either, so we'll keep him sheltered there for now with the uh, rest of the cabinet. We got eyes in the sky, we got sharpshooters as well, so we got cover. So we're going to escort him to the safety in the building now, so let's do that. Alright, let's go to the car. I've got my uh, outriders around me, I've got the sentries. All right, let's go. So we're gonna take him straight to the top of the build. Well, let's stop the building. We'll take him to the secure entrance. And we have to follow me right now. We need to disperse the civilians as well because there's too many of them and I can't tell them when the game, I can't get them to leave quite quickly. You can hear, oh my gosh, you can hear the gunshots. Jeez, I don't know if this is like the opposition party or whether it's terrorism or whether it's people that just don't like this guy, but he's not a very likable person at the moment, so to escort him to safety. Come on, Prime Minister, let's go. Let's run up this building. So we're taking this, not really a secret entrance. All right, we have to disperse everyone. All right, police, get out of the area. Disperse now. It's harmless, it won't hurt anyone, but it's just trying to get them out of the area. This is the only way, I can't shout at them to leave. Here's the GTA. It's the only way you can do it, right? We've got the SAS keeping an eye out as well. This is their Blue Thunder helicopter. They're currently eyes in the sky. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. Moving in here, I got my other officers backing me up. Let's take point over here. 
Got a regular police helicopter in the background. Right, Prime Minister is coming up. Area's clear. Let's go. Come on, me, Mr. Prime Minister. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come in the building. He's safe. Now all we need to do is neutralize the threat because he can't continue his press conference until we do that. Let's go. Patrol, I'm going to be assisting the other SO officers now. So close protection mm -hmm. is going to be looking after the Prime Minister while we, a special escort group, closest ARV with marked vehicle lights and sirens, we're going to be assisting the other officers. We need to find out where the threat is. Apparently he's on the motorway right now. Officers have chased him out of the city and he's onto the motorway. We need to assist those officers because apparently there was a shortage of firearms units there at the moment as the traffic has been held up from us blocking the roads earlier. As you can see, everything has a consequence. So we were blocking off the roads to protect the Prime Minister's convoy. The problem is that's caused a bit of congestion now. And we're calling backup. They've arrived here, but the other backup can't reach the motorway because there's too much of a holdup. So we're going to try and assist the current officers there on the scene. We need to get there ASAP. We've got terrorism units here as well. Got myself. And we're going to get in the car. We're going to head there ASAP. All right, let's get in. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Control, Sierra 1 is we're on route right now. We've got a uh, ARV times two. We're going to be heading there. We have instructions to shoot on sight suspect if they're going to go fire on us. We're on route. Okay, so we're going to head there right now. I'm not sure who is attacking us right now, but apparently it's an armed gunman with uh, armor on them as well. I think it's a lone person at the moment. It's not a, person, it's not a vehicle and multiple people. We're heading there right now. We've got Blue Thunder above, and their call sign is going to be Archangel 1. So Blue Thunder is the SAS helicopter. Oh my gosh, they just downed one of our helicopters. This shit is getting serious. Oh, there he is. What the hell? How did he do that? I'd hope the officers are safe. But uh, at the moment... Oh my gosh, he's shooting at us. He's shooting at us. All right, let's open fire. Let's open fire. This guy is literally wearing an impersonation NCA uniform. Oh, what the fudge? Okay, CCTV footage has just picked up this driver that tried to run over me and a few other officers. Apparently he's in on the plot as well. Got a bulletin out for this car. We're going to be chasing it now. We're just going to check the officers and see that they're okay on scene. We've got this guy dead. ARV officer is going to go investigate it ASAP. We need to go find that car right away because I think this is a joint... This is a uh, joint plan actually so we're gonna go ahead into the interstate one looking for the hostile vehicle e echo alpha 55 it was a silver coupe patrol sierra one looking for the vehicle on the a1 right now we'll be uh taking on from here so we're gonna be chasing up this road we've got essex police and the count other counties forces alerted as well we've also got a drone flying above us that's going to help us. You can't hear the drone because it's silent. It's flying at a very high altitude. But yeah, it's a lot inconspicuous than the helicopter. But oh my gosh, I'm actually surprised that helicopter got shot down. I don't know how they did that. This is serious. Put threat level up to severe now. So we're going to be on the uh, A13 now. We're just on the outskirts of the London Orbital. I can't find him for some reason. Okay, so as far as we went, We've got information that the city traffic cameras have told us that he's been spotted where we were. And we're going to be heading there ASAP. Apparently the car's done a loop around just like we've done right now. And they've gone back to the city again. I think they've got a hideout there or something. we head there ASAP. So we're going back into the city again. Now, have you noticed there's no escort around me? There's no other cars or bikes because they're all busy protecting the Prime Minister. I'm the lone unit that's going out to find this person. Here's their vehicle. I'm going to get the other ARVs locally to join in as well. We've done that because it's more efficient that way. Um, by the way, if you don't know what ARV is, our response vehicle, the cars like mine. So your other firearms units as well. We're approaching city limits. I think we got a um, we've got tabs on this guy right now. There is a sighting of his vehicle around the intersection we came from. So we're going to go uh, listen out to the control room right now as they're giving us more instructions. People were running away from the scene. Oh, they're police officers. Okay. I think they spotted something. Okay, yeah. I, I see what they mean now. Yep. They've told me there's a trap. They set a trap for him. So we're going to drive up here and stop the intersection. Carl's just been spotted by traffic camera. Coming back in this direction again. Why would do that? I have no idea. I think we'll run over the coppers. Let's go stop here. All right. There we go. 
Some traffic. Yep, this is the vehicle. All right, suspect spotted. We've got a vehicle pursuit. It's now leaving the orb orbital, going straight onto the M1. Patrol call, uh, Sierra 1, you're right, state 1. We're just joining the A1 right now. We have one ARV vehicle, we need other units over here immediately. We're currently in pursuit of a uh, high priority vehicle that's just run over an officer. It's attempted to come back to run over other officers. We need to get local ARVs onto this channel immediately. Both conditions are sparse to medium. Weather's good, visibility is good. We're an advanced vehicle, advanced driver, TPAC train. We've got four ARVs joining the pursuit now. Maybe uh, considering tactical pursuit containment. Just going to be tactical procedures. Tactical procedures? What am I talking about? Tactical contact? Damn it. Okay, we'll follow this sucker up the a M1 now. It's. Oh, careful. Right, ready? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Box this sucker. Oh my gosh, this guy is determined. He looks very different. I think it's a different person, but it's the same car. That's the thing. They just painted it differently. Okay, we'll follow up this A road, dual carriageway. We're gonna go and knock him in one more time. Oh, this guy is ready to leave the city in a hearse the way he's driving. Right, let's go, go, go. Oh, please, get out of your vehicle now. Hands up, see him. Males arrested. We've got him. Got one of them anyway. The other one we killed. He's been confirmed, he's been shot on sight. He's wearing... These guys... Honestly, the guy was wearing an NCA uniform. I don't know how he got hands on that, but I think that's how he got through the security clearance. But right, currently, I'm going to be patting down this uh, guy my partner is. I'm going to be patting down the car as well, searching it. Any weapons, documents, type of thing. But one suspect in custody. And we got... Another suspect has been shot dead. Let's get the car, put the siren off. All right, that was interesting. So, let's do a um, let's do a war report. Let's do a sit rep. So, uh, yeah, we've managed to neutralize the threat. Surprisingly, there is another blip going on. There's like a red blip going. I don't think that's part of our pursuit. So, I'm not gonna worry too much about that. We're putting evidence here for the CID. We know we've got a full-on criminal investigation. So, we're getting the middle of the um, security service involved as well. So this whole area is going to be... We're not going to make it too conspicuous, but I'm going to put police tape here. Also, I put police tape on cones from now on because I noticed that's what they actually do in real life. They don't have those funny poles that I was using. So we get rid of those and just pop them here. Uh, let's get the... Uh, Backup needed on, um, let's get the uh, Sweeney's over here. I hope you uh, really enjoyed that, by the way. If we do some more of these soon. At the moment, we're just calling for more backup. We're getting local police to close off the area too. It's got a road policing unit. And then what we do is full on investigation. Right, there they are. Alright, constables, we've got some fun for you. And by the way, just a disclaimer if you're watching this video, this is not politically motivated in any way whatsoever. Um, this is purely the fact that it is a trending topic and it's quite interesting and every time there's a new Prime Minister or a royal family member or something that happens Apart from the recent Well, I would say What happened recently with the royal family? I'm not going to cover that for multiple reasons But um, apart from that I generally like I enjoy making videos about this type of thing because it's interesting and people would really like to see it And there's never anything bad like you know the guy always gets free. No one gets assassinated We always arrest them. We always take them to jail. So it's not like Anything like that really but we're going to be uh getting rid of tape now we'll just get this area what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back to the arcadia center and check up on the prime minister because they need more units we're going to escort them back to downing street so we'll be en route also make sure to subscribe if you like these videos we're going to be doing a lot more of them soon it'll be quite interesting too and i'm trying to uh work with other models to make the game more british I don't know how that vehicle is wanted, but I'm going to ignore it because that's not what we're pursuing after. That is just someone committing a road, of, road crime offence. But we're currently heading quite quickly to the Arcadia Centre. Almost there. And by the way, I do actually uh, I stream on uh, Facebook and also on uh, 
well, I stream, I upload on Facebook. Sometimes I stream on TikTok too. Uh, I'm going to be hosting a giveaway real soon. I'm thinking about what I should host, but if you guys are interested, let me know in the comments below. If you got bards this video, then fairly certain you'd be interested <laughs> in doing it. So yeah, let me know what you'd like to see, what you'd like to win. Just hashtag DD giveaway and I will check your comment. And yeah, we're at this Arcadia Center again. We've got the hospital here. We've got the center to the right. I'm just going to ease up into here now. There we go. All right, so we're at the top level of the building, not the bottom level, because the top level is where security is needed right now. And yeah, I will see you guys in another video soon. Until then, stay tuned for more action. We'll just park a car here, and I will see you guys in the next video.